It's a strange one. Weird situation that we're all facing, man. Lots of people stressed out right now. Lots of uncertainty. But the key word for me is appreciation. And this country is not alone. All over the world, we're seeing the devastating impact of this invisible killer. And so tonight, I want to update you on the latest steps we're taking to fight the disease and what you can do to help. And I want to begin by reminding you why the UK has been taking the approach that we have. Without a huge national effort to halt the growth of this virus, there will come a moment when no health service in the world could possibly cope. It's a weird one for sure. Nothing this weird has happened in our lifetimes, in our parents' lifetimes. It's a bit surreal, can't lie. The way the last couple weeks have been feels like we're living in a Black Mirror episode. Things have got so strange that resorted to being in front of the camera instead of behind the camera. There's no one else around to feed, so just gotta do what you gotta do, man. Reading something about Erica Badu, um, where she, where they were asking her about putting out music, cause she's one of my favorite artists, and she said something about, well, you know, I'm, I'm uploading right now. Yeah. I'm, you know, I'm finding my truth. She's inspired. And she's inspired, so it kind of goes more to what I'm saying in that. Sometimes you just gotta really, you know, dig deep because you don't want to go back and do anything similar to what you've done before. And I'm starting to get inspired again. Even just stepping outside, the streets have got kind of like a bit of an eerie feel. I think it's going to be a strange one to transition back to, to normal life from this just because everyone's going to be wary of each other and stuff. If you can get your mind away from, from all the madness and the panic, it's a good time to just just breathe. Just stay with each breath and in your own time when you're ready, just asking yourself that question. Who or what do you appreciate most? in your life right now. Things like this put, put things into perspective and make you realise about the opportunities that you had, the opportunities that you have on a day-to-day -day basis, opportunities that you might have missed. And a lot of the, a lot of the things that we stress about day-to-day -day or we worry about day-to-day, -day, like, they're just extremely trivial at a time like this, they're very insignificant. I never wanted this to come across like corny and too deep, but it's a strange scenario that we're in and it's given me perspective and I just wanted to share it. I think when this all passes, we'll appreciate the break that it gave us. Yeah, try and make the most of what you got. Yeah, man. Appreciation, appreciation is key. It's enough of all that anyway, getting too deep on them.